All right, moving on to this little engine install. We basically got it all done. Drive shafts hooked up up front, uh, batteries hooked up. Last two things to do, three things actually, is engine oil, transmission oil, and coolant. First, I'm gonna start with the uh, engine oil, put that in and just see if she'll start. And if it does, then I gotta go to the store, grab some more transmission oil, and then uh, I'll fill it with coolant once I get the thing sort of up and running. All right, moment of truth. Let's see if this sucker will fire up. That's great. All right, putting transmission oil in. Um, the oil fill plug is located right here. Right there, sorry, right there. And it's a 17, mil 17 millimeter. Uh, basically what you do is you fill it up until it starts to leak out, it means you're full. And the drain plug is right there. Both are on the uh, left side of the, the engine area on the, on the side of the transmission. So fill that up. We use a, I use a little hand pump on the end of the, oil you just pump it in it works really well what i'm using is some macy delco um, manual transmission normally i use redline but um, the stores i went to are just don't seem to be selling it anymore but the important part is that it's a gl4 because then it apparently uh, so i've read it is safe for brass uh, parts which the uh, synchros are brass so anyway i'm going to fill this thing up Okay, that transmission's filled up. Let this sucker down, torqued up the wheels, and uh, time to move this thing outside and splash it up and fill it with water. Uh, I gotta move a bunch of vehicles out of the way. bleed this thing this is your bleeder hose so what you do is you just when it's just running just pop this out until you get air uh, water coming out I'm good I got coolant so mine's bled it's very soapy so it's cleaning out that uh, oil hopefully residue out of the uh, 
coolant system. So we're going to let this run for a while, get it good and hot, and then we're going to flush it out. So looking under the seat here, you can see all the foam that's coming out. I keep topping it up with water. You might notice I've got a second battery. I did put a second battery under my seat, uh, relocated the uh, radiator filler tank. But I just keep topping it up with fluid here and it is very brown, yucky stuff coming out, so that's good. It is, it is cleaning out that uh, oily residue, so that's a good sign. All right, time to give this thing a nice wash. And there you have it. This little truck is living again, happy as hell, and so am I. Um, fairly involved project. Um, you know, obviously you need to have quite a few tools to do a, an engine rebuild, but hopefully you guys learn a bit from this. Um, but while I got you, I'm gonna maybe show you a couple of custom things on this truck that I've done that uh, people might be asking questions, might wanna do it to their own little Subaru. First off, the uh, front bumper. I bought that off eBay. It's actually for a Jeep YJ. And um, I had to custom fit the, uh, the it to fit around the contours of the cab. You can see where it's been ground out. One thing to note, right here this cover that is a cover that i made up or got made up actually it's a sheet metal cover and that is the air intake for your uh, your heater inside the cab or your cold air and when you take the bump bumper off that was exposed so water would just go straight into the cab so i made a cover that goes on there and the air actually comes in from underneath below the uh the uh, yj bumper um blacked out the subaru emblem put a light bar on the small light bar that's hooked up with my high beams a uh, small 2,000 pound winch, which I got this thing buried in the mud one time and and uh, that winch pulled it out. I was surprised. Um, there's another light bar up top that's uh, hooked up to a separate switch that I can turn on. That thing is brilliantly bright. It's awesome. Um, the tire is obviously, these are mongrel, I think they are. Yeah, mongrel 23 by 8 by 12. Great little tires. Uh, one thing I'm having a problem, I am rubbing. And I actually did beat this back with a hammer so that it wouldn't rub. And um, I'm gonna actually have to cut, trim this back. I've got some paint to repaint everything, but I'm gonna trim this back a little bit and do a little bit of welding and repaint this whole, this whole rear quarter part here of the cab. Uh, moving on over here, in place of the spare tire, I put a cool little box unlock this I'll show you what's in here and inside I keep straps toe strap my winch controller uh, just tie down straps but what just you know instead of the spare tire I've just got this little box there it fits in perfectly uh, two inch body lift all around um, put a snorkel on it which is it does work it is a true snorkel hooked up to the air box it's all sealed but my um, Distributor leaks. Well, water, well, water will get in the distributor, so I'd have to seal the distributor to make this thing really be able to get into some serious stuff. And one of the other things I made, which is kind of cool, is the uh, custom stack exhaust. The exhaust comes off. I'm gonna show you. Removed the old bulky muffler, ran a pipe up through the box over the fuel tank, and there's a glass pack there. I put a little glass pack on it run up through the box and then got a heat shield made up there's actually a small resonator in here because it was too loud so i put a resonator on it and uh yeah that little uh it's kind of silly but it's kind of fun this is a fun little truck and uh, i thought that'd be cool but uh yeah that's oh and also there's a uh, uh an isolator here this switch i can isolate the uh front battery if i want to run just the the uh main battery if you will the uh, vans have got the battery located under the passenger seat and uh, so I put a I put a battery in there and they're tied together give me a little bit more amperage for uh, for the winch and uh, inside I put some blah punk speakers in it and uh, I don't know what little pioneer stereo 
nothing too special there but uh yeah all in all great little truck and i'm uh i hope you guys like it anyway uh that's the end of this project uh, comments thoughts below any questions on some of the stuff i've done please let me know i'll i'll get back to you and uh yeah thanks a lot for watching